guys superstar so good to have you in another interesting class this week topic is how hiv and aids can get into the body in the previous lesson you learned that hiv is a communicable disease that destroy the immune system you also learn that HIV, when not treated after some time, advance to a disease called AIDS. This week, we are still dealing on HIV and AIDS disease. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to state different ways HIV and AIDS can get into the body. HIV and AIDS can get into the body by one, sharing sharp objects like needle, syringe, and so on with an infected person is one way HIV can get into the body. Two, through sharing of toothbrush and chewing gum when you share your toothbrush and chewing gum with somebody that has hiv and both partners have sore or bleeding gum hiv can be contacted three true blood transfusion blood transfusion is a procedure in which Blood is given to a person through the vein. If an infected blood is given to a non-infected person, the non-infected person can get HIV through the procedure. 4. From an infected mother to an unborn child is another way HIV can be contacted. 5. Through infected blood contact. When a person that has HIV's blood gets in contact with an uninfected person's wound or cuts, the uninfected person can get HIV. So, kid, these are some common ways HIV can get into the body. At this point, we have come to the end of this lesson. In this lesson, you have learned some ways HIV and AIDS can get into the body. Now, mention two ways HIV can get into the body. Good job! I heard you saying through blood transfusion and from sharing of toothbrush and chewing gum. Great! Well done, superstar. See you in my next class. Ensure you do your quizzes and assignments. Bye-bye!